Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Math. This spring and fall we're hosting a whole brand new series of workshops for teachers for math, science, English, and history. You should check out these workshops. We're going to be holding them in Massachusetts, in Florida, in New York, in California. Check them out. I'm sure you'll find them very helpful. Take care. Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Math here to do a new problem as part of the Go Math 2015 Teacher Workshop Series. Today we're going to do number 42 on the CBEST Elementary Math Practice Test. This problem is going to involve rounding and estimating. So let's take a look at it. As I read it over, I want you to visualize what's going on in the problem and then we'll work on uh, identifying the key math concepts and doing the math. All right, here we go. Number 42. Carrie ran the same distance in four different races. Her times were 18.4 seconds, 21.39 seconds, 12.99 seconds, and 14.14 seconds. If the individual times are rounded to the nearest one-tenth of a second, what is the estimate of Carrie's total time for all four races? Okay, so I get it. There's this, there's this young girl, she's running these races, she has four different times. All right, now what's the math behind it? Well, we're going to be rounding these values. And they're written, the time is taken to the, the hundredth of a second. This is four hundredths of a second. This is 39 hundredths of a second. What we're going to have to do is we're going to round it from hundredths to the nearest tenth of a second. And when we think of decimals, like... Uh, 18.04, this is the tenths place, this is the hundredths place. So we're going to round it to the nearest tenths place on all these. And then it says here we're going to find the total. And whenever you see total, it means we're going to be adding up all those values. So let's start. I'll start with this one here. Rounding rules. Whenever it's 5 or greater than 5, it rounds up. And whenever it's less than 5, it rounds down. So I I'm rounding to the nearest tenth, which means I look to the hundredth place. This four, since it's less than five, it rounds this all of this down. That would become a zero. So this first time would become just 18 seconds, 18.01 seconds. I'll do the next one, 21.39, or 21 seconds and 39 hundredths. I'm rounding to the nearest tenth, so I look to the hundredths column. That 9 is greater than the 5, so it rounds up, making this 3 a 4. So this becomes 21.4. Now continue this, 12.99, or 99 hundredths. There's my tenths. I look to the hundredths. Since it's a 9, it rounds up, rounding the 9 to a 10, and that 10 becomes 10 tenths, or one whole, so this one would be thir uh, 13 seconds. She really was fast that day. And this last one, 14.14 14 uh, 14 seconds again. I'm at the tenths. I look to the hundredths. The hundredths round down. This just becomes 14.1 seconds. And now we, now we add them up because it says find the total. These add up here to a nice five. You can do this a bunch of different ways. Eight plus uh, one is nine. Um, three plus seven, three plus four is seven. So eight, uh, nine plus seven is sixteen. Carry the one. Then I add these up: one, two, three, four, five, six. Make sure I place the decimal in the correct place. And I arrive at the answer with confidence, having reviewed basic place value with tenths, hundredths. Practice rounding to the nearest tenth. Um, setting up my work so that I can add it up in an organized fashion so I can get to the correct answer without making a careless mistake. In a problem like this, it's not really the math that trips teachers up. It's careless mistakes. The math is easy, but it's very, very, very easy, even easier to make a careless mistake. And look how close these answers are. You're off by a tenth. Maybe you're off by a second. And you'll ease, it's very easy to make a careless mistake here or here and uh, be thrown off, okay? So make sure you uh, set up the problem and do all the steps correctly and in an organized way so you get to that correct answer. All right, team, this is Chris Abram from GoMath. Hope you enjoyed the video. Have a great day. Take care.